and welcome again to another Artist of the Week. Uh, this week's featured artist is Laura the Zoni. How are you doing today, Laura? Doing pretty good. Woke up late. Get to sleep in. <laughs> doing all right. Well rested. That is that is always great, especially in in or when you have a uh, an interview in the morning. So. Mm-hmm. Um, I I have some questions here for you today, Laura. And so without further ado, let's uh, let's just kick right on into this. Uh, okay. I, my my first question here for you. Um, how how long have you been into art? Um, well, I've been drawing since I can remember. Just little things here and there. Um, I haven't really. I didn't really start get started drawing in ponies. Um, until about September last year, and let's just say they weren't exactly the prettiest ponies out there. But um, I've mainly been drawing those since then. Okay. How, how did you learn how to create digital art? Did you uh, did you have any formal training, anything like that? No, I actually had started sketching them out on paper, and then I would um, – well, I didn't have a scanner, so I would literally take a picture with my cruddy little laptop and then trace over the lines through either MS Paint or GIMP. Okay. And what, what were you drawing before you started Ponies? Um, well, it would be random things. Like I would draw um, – roses and stuff like that that are all shaded and pretty and whatnot. Um, I, w- I am a, an anime nerd, so I draw anime characters and just little things here and there. Uh, we're drawing a few tattoo ideas for family members and um, just really whatever popped into my brain. <laughs> okay. And then how, how, did, uh, how did ponies start for you? Well, I was cruising around on I Can Has Cheeseburger. <laughs> I saw a few memes for him, and um, I just I dug into him more and more, and I liked the show, and um, I made myself an OC, and I was, you know, drawing over vectors and stuff like that, and I made some friends. And um, after that, I said, well, people don't have a way to really address me, and I noticed everyone had an OC, so I decided to make me one so people could you know, have some sort of character or connection they could connect me to. And uh, went from there. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's talk a little bit more about the uh, the OC. First of all, what what is a uh, what is a zoni? Uh, zoni is a half zebra, half pony. <laughs> um, how did you, how did you come up with the uh, the idea? Well, I you know looking at all the other different characters that everybody had, I never I never really noticed any you know, zony characters. I noticed a couple little zebras and then, you know, just ponies. So I was like, well, I kind of, you know, hipster mode activated. I want to be something different. <laughs> so I made a zony. Okay. So it was, it was just because you kind of wanted to be different and that's, that's why you or that's why she's a zony or. Yeah, that too. And also I'm, I'm native American and I noticed that they connected buffaloes with them, but a half buffalo pony looked kind of weird when I first sketched it out. <laughs> oh, so she could have, she could have been a, uh, a buffalo pony then. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, but she looked more like a humpback pony than anything else. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that didn't work out too well. <laughs> um, what, what do you enjoy about, uh, running your ask blog? Um, I enjoy the people behind it, the followers, really. Uh, when I started, it was just a couple of people that I knew from I Can Hash Cheeseburger and, um, and Stripey from Pony Chan. And uh, so I, when, I, when I did my blog, what, the thing that I mainly needed was questions. And that's where my friends came in. They would ask me random little questions to answer. And the more I answered, the more people started popping in and asking other questions. And it just grew and grew from there. So really, it's the followers that, you know, make the blog. Because without them, I would just be drawing random pictures of ponies. <laughs> would you uh, would you recommend making or making an ass blog if you were just or just recommending to other artists? Um, yeah, it's it's actually pretty fun. You know, some people get a little stressed about it. And then some people worry about just the notes and just how many followers they have. Which, you know, really, in general, the, the Tumblr ask blogs are for meeting new people, making new friends, and just having fun. And so, you know, if, if you have a lot of time on your hands and you want to have fun drawing ponies for people, then that's, that's really it, you know? 
Well, that's a that's a good point. Um, so so tell me a little bit about the uh, the friends that you've made, just through the cast blog. Oh, I've made tons of friends. Um, before, well, I mean, my cast isn't exactly the greatest, but I, I didn't really have anything to go for. I was just sleeping as much as I could, and that was about it. But um, through the the Tumblr blog, I was able to meet uh, Rulo. And Stripey, you know, I, I met her a little bit before the Tumblr. I met her on Pony Chan, and um, they're they're my Tumblr sisters now. We are we are sweet baboos. <laughs> 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 and in that, I've made tons of other friends. You know, people that have been there to support me when I'm down, and I've been there to support them when they're down. And it's just it's just become just this giant knit family of people that have the same interests as me. So do you have any uh, any besides Stripey and uh, Rulu that have really inspired you? Um, Inspirational-wise, like before I made my Tumblr, I would see memes of Princess Molestia here and there. And uh, I liked the artwork through it. I, didn't know, I never really visited the Tumblr until a little later, and I was like, oh, I, I probably shouldn't link this Tumblr to other people. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I would see just the clean pictures, and then, you know, you go on there, and you're like, oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, other than that, you know, there are so many different art styles out there that, you know, I kind of I kind of would see how they drew their characters and how they would, you know, make their character come to life. And um, I would visit in live streams, too, just to see how they were being drawn. Okay. Now, now, give us an example of like a, a typical day working with like Rulu and Stripey. Um, usually when they hop on, I would I usually yell at uh, Rulu and be like Rulu Chan, and she usually yells back Laura Chan, and then we you know ask how each other how they're doing and you know see what's up and say we're Stripey. I mean she's got she's got a lot on her plate now, but every now and again we'll we'll chit chat and just you know just be goofball really. <laughs> Okay. Um, I, I guess moving on from that, how, how have ponies kind of changed the way you think as an artist? What, what kind of inspires you about ponies? Um, well, really, it's the the kindness of the community. You know, I, I before, you know, I, I would see people, you know, hating on each other's characters or saying, oh, your, your character's too Mary Sue or something. And in the pony community, yeah, there's still some people that are like that. But other than that, they're, they're usually the nicest people out there, you know. People are very supportive of other, you know, blogs. Um, even the little ones, when I was first starting out, you know, I was trying to get a little boost for them. But uh, really, it's just the, the whole community itself. I mean, uh, even at BronyCon, you could just feel the... The excitement and the um, okay. Um, so you said you went to uh, to BronyCon. How did you, how did you enjoy that? Oh, yes, BronyCon. Um, you could feel the excitement from everybody. You could feel the energy, and you could feel you know everybody. Everybody was there because of one reason, and that was because of ponies. And it seems like that the ponies really, in general, is the glue that is bringing all these people together and, you know, creating this whole new community, basically. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's just a big old, kind of like a big old happy family in a way. You know, even though people don't really know each other, they're still brought together by one thing. All right. Interesting. Um, how, how have the, uh, how have ponies affected your life outside of artwork? Uh, <laughs> Well, before, when I was just still a, a new tumbler, I was um, in a pretty bad place. You know, I was I was dreading waking up the next morning and, you know, wishing I could just not wake up. And it was pretty dark. But uh, there was a point where I was ready to just let it all go. But then I stopped and thought, you know, what would I do if I found my friends in this situation? And so... Um, through that thought, you know, I stopped and I thought, you know, I have to, I have to make sure that my friends are okay and then they're happy. 
and then I can make, you know, bring a smile to someone who might have a bad day through one of my pictures or something like that. And so, um, you know, before I, I've, I've always been pretty open-minded about things, but it seems like through the community and everything else, I've, I've pretty much just became even more open. <laughs> That's great. That's actually perfect. Um, what, uh, what what other what do you do besides artwork on your uh, on your free time or time time away from the blog? Um, I work <laughs> I work my four ten hour days. I come home, I draw a couple of pictures, and then I sleep. And that, that's usually that's usually the process. Uh, sometimes on the weekends, my mom you know will want to take us out to go eat or to go you know look around at the flea market and stuff like that. But um, other than that, I really don't. I really don't do anything outside of the blog and work, but that's just because I <laughs> had to drop a lot of my you know, like friends due to uh, personal issues that they had. Okay. Um, what what future projects are you excited about? Future projects? Well, um, I'm going to be doing a little past story arc with Ace. And then, um, of course, there's the Doctor and the Master blogs, which are coming up. Laura plays a little part in their story, too. So I'm excited for those. <laughs> All right. And uh, do, you have, do you have a particular favorite project that you've ever worked on? Hmm. Well, I don't know. I like, I like all the things that, that have been going on lately. I mean, um, one thing that's coming up, pretty quickly is I have to explain Laura's past and um, show her more of her brother and how she got her cutie mark. It's it's not exactly a happy story, but uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a pretty big pretty big posts to be made. Okay. And see I was just gonna just gonna follow that up if uh, I was gonna ask if do you do you enjoy doing these more story story arc type of uh, Types posts, or do you kind of do the uh, kind of how uh, Stripey does it, where it's just all over the place? I kind of like both. I mean, the all over place is really fun, but then also it's like okay, you know, you can't just have a, a face up there. You know, I mean, before uh, I made Laura's personality more and her characteristics, she was just kind of kind of a cute face on the screen. But now it's like, well, you know, these characters in a way are alive. You know, they're you can't play house without, you know, imagining you're in a house and, you know, the couple's married and you got kids. You have to, uh, you have to give them backgrounds and future interests of their own and, you know, just little characteristics here and there. And so, um, you know, these stories help bring out, well, this is why they're like this or this is why they don't like that. You know, kind of, kind of shapes them in a way. All right. Oh, interesting. Um, my, my last question here for you today um, would be: What what advice would you give to new artists? To new artists, um, well, I know a lot of people. Well, you know, they ask me how did I get started, and the way you get started is you you ask questions about um, you know you ask questions to other blogs. You draw what you want to draw, and some people. Some people will leave anon, you know, anonymous questions on, but uh, they usually, the anons, you know, are people that really don't have spines, to be honest. I mean, some are good, <laughs> but a lot of them will either bash the blogs, which drags them away. They'll, you know, tell them that their art sucks and stuff like that, you know, just feel negative. So the one thing I could tell people who are making a new blog, don't leave anons on. <laughs> I learned a long time ago not to leave them on. And um, other than that, you know, if it's not on for you, don't, don't. Don't do it. Other than that, it's, you know, having pictures with other people's characters. And don't do hugs. <laughs> That's the one thing I can tell you. Don't do hugs because everybody will ask for them. And then as soon as you answer one hug, I can guarantee you a whole bunch of other people will want to hug just because they want to see their character being drawn with your character. And, you know, it's it's hard to, to draw hugs over and over and over again with so many different characters. And especially when you get more followers, it means more hugs. <laughs> so it's, it's a vicious cycle. But, um, you know, a couple here and there, if, if you have a friend that's really down and needing some cheering up, then you could probably do that for them. 
But other than that, you know, just be, be warned for, for what you do. And, uh, you know, just have fun with it. Really. That's all it is. You know, to have fun and to make fun. Oh, good it's not really a Yeah, it's not really a popularity contest. You know, people are like, oh, I have to have you know, a bajillion followers for people to like me. No, I mean, you can have a small, a little blog and people will still like you. You know, it's it's not just about the followers and how many notes of pictures get. It's having fun. Excellent, excellent advice. Um, that that's all I uh, that's all I have here for you today, Laura. Do you, was there anything else you'd like to leave the listeners with for before I let you go? Um, no, just you guys keep being awesome, and without you, us big blogs and whatnot, little blogs, everybody wouldn't exist. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Laura, thank you very much for coming out here and uh, giving us a little bit of your time. Mm -hmm. Thank you.